The statuses button on the toolbar allows you to select which statuses to include in the report and put them in order if needed. If no statuses are selected here, Time and Status will include all statuses it sees in selected issues histories and show them in the order it encounters them during processing. You can add each status one by one or you can use the Add Existing button to add all statuses at once that are currently visible on the page. If even only one status is selected, Time and Status will only show that status as a column and exclude others. In that case, Status Panel will show a warning that says, the following statuses contain data but are not shown in the report since they are not selected. Using this panel, you can also change the order of status columns in the report. For status-based reports, you can define consolidated columns. A consolidated column is shown as a single column in the report, but contains the total duration of multiple statuses selected under it. For example, you can create a consolidated column named lead time, and put to-do and in-progress statuses under it and see the lead time of each issue. Many other report types will also offer status selection, even though the report output does not have columns that correspond to statuses. In those cases, Time and status will simply exclude the time from report values that was spent on unselected statuses. For example, you can get an assignee duration report and include only in-progress status so you see the actual in-progress time for each assignee and non-working status times do not contaminate the output.